What's up, everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we are going to be doing the next video in my Dynasty Warriors 3 AI battles. We're now moving on to the EX Extreme Legends versions of this game. So we're going to be doing uh, Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends AI battles. It's pretty fun. So if you're new to the channel, what I do is I um, set up a battle set up to very easy difficulty. You do it very easy. It makes the morale of your allies really high, so we'll, I'll show you what I mean here. This is like the trademark level that started to be doing this. Because Zheng Bao and Zheng Liang started with six stars for their morale on this level, which is pretty nuts. That's really high to start with. So like, I remember when I was a kid, I just was curious about saying it's very easy, and I figured that out, where I was like, if you set it to very easy, you kind of destroy everybody. Like, you start out with such an advantage. It's crazy. Show them our so, what I'm gonna do is pick this level, and I'm gonna hide in the corner, because Lulu obviously was not on this map, and because everyone has a morale of six, they usually start winning pretty quickly, and it's pretty awesome. So, it's a good time. The, uh, and then Zheng Mancheng has five, but Neiji and all, like, all his people have three, so the only person who has a one-star advantage is um, the guy in the top right, which I think is Zheng Bao. Maybe Zheng Yang? So it's Zheng Bao. So they join. But um, yeah, so that's a pretty shocking difference in morale, and it basically guarantees that a lot of people will win pretty quick. And so this shouldn't be too long of a battle. And I've obviously when a commanding officer gets all of his troops defeated, I'll go down there and take them out myself because they will never lose. They just will sit there with zero stars and that'll be the way that it goes. So that's why I'm gonna help out a little bit. But um, a weird thing that happens on this map is that Zengmeng Chang is like useless. So he's just standing He's not even protecting the gate very well. So like the peasants are all sitting by the doors of these maps. But Zengmeng Chang is like not even supposed to, like he's not even protecting that peasant right there that just started fighting. He's doing a very bad job of it. So it's pretty funny. Hopefully I, we can actually rescue him. I don't know. Sometimes that guy dies. I'm gonna try to have him not, but we'll see. So yeah. I think that's all that I need to say for now, so I will um, just let it play for a while and then I'll talk as we start to win. Hopefully we start to win. The the key areas are that Zhang Bao up top needs to get an advantage as quickly as possible because he's only up by one star. I'm not super worried about the guy on the left side of the map. That's Zhang Liang fighting Kao Kao. He's, Kao Kao has four and Zhang Liang has six. That's huge. I'm a little bit nervous about the southern part of the map. That's where Zheng Meng Cheng is, and he needs to be able to basically help that peasant, and he does not want to very well. He's currently fighting, although he's not fighting by the peasant. He's not helping the peasant as well as he should, but that's okay. If he can kind of like, if the generals go to him, then he will be fine, then the peasant will be fine. But yeah, obviously when the Zheng Meng Cheng wins his fight, he just turns around and runs back over to the left like that. And so does his units, which is really stupid. So we'll see. And then obviously Zheng, Jia, Zheng Jiao has six, but he's fighting Liu Bei and Liu Bei has a lot of generals. He has Guan Yu and Zheng Fei and Zheng Jiao is just gonna stand there. So Zheng Jiao will start to lose his morale. So we're gonna have to kind of see what happens there as well, but it should be fine, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, so thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share.
All right, so I just decided to weaken people on my side, because on the enemy side, because I started to get frustrated with Zhang Bao in the top because his morale dropped to four immediately because he is a wimp who is just hiding in the background of his fight. So I went ahead and just helped up there. I weakened Hong Dong and Cheng Pu. They were both pretty hurt, but of course they weren't going to fight any generals forever because Zhang Bao stopped trying. And then all the rest of his officers run straight to Sun Jian. So he is alone up there and is very unlikely to actually do anything. So like right now, he is sitting just outside the battle up there. He's just standing there and he's not doing anything. And so I'm like, this is why I do what I do. This is why I run in there and help because he will just avoid conflict even though he's a general who's supposed to be like really good and stuff he just right now he's fighting but it's like it takes him to the point where he's at a disadvantage before he starts actually doing stuff so i'm like that's why i do it i run in there i try to help as much as i can at certain points because it's just it becomes frustrating to watch and like certain levels, obviously I get more involved, but like with this one, it's, if you start with six, you should win. Like that's just like a win. And so I feel like that just doesn't happen sometimes. So that's why I jump in there. I may, I'll do more eventually probably because I see myself having to do that. But we'll see for now. Zhang Wan Chang is fighting, which actually is surprising. Um, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei and Liu Bei have split up now. One of them is heading north towards EI, and the other one is still fighting in front of, is fighting Zhang Jiao's troops. So we'll kind of see what happens there. It's gonna be interesting though. So there goes Zhang Bao defeating the general that I weakened. I mean, he wouldn't have done that for a long, for probably another minute and a half, two minutes, if I hadn't awakened him. So like, I don't really feel bad about that. Because Zhang Jiao or Zhang Bao is supposed to be better than he is. He wasn't being effective. And he's still not really like right now a general's running towards him. That's the only reason why he's fighting general right now. That's it. So and it was Cheng Pu. So yeah, I don't even feel bad about any of that. It's fine. So, thanks for watching and I'll keep commenting.
not that easy to pass. Triumphant! So that was something I was not expecting. I mean, this is what I like about this game and this AI battle stuff. It's like, why? How did that even happen? So. I guess Zengmon Chang weakened uh, Li Yan's officer Zeng Chao so much that when he ran on the left part of the castle, he actually got defeated by. Who did he get defeated by? Yan Zhang. Who is he with? Wow. Really random, but it worked. It was very strange, and doing that kind of helped a lot <laughs> because he did that. He was able to actually, like now Zhang Jiao has a morale five, and Zhang uh, Zhang Liang has a higher morale now. <laughs> Interesting. I just wasn't expecting that. Now, Bo Zhang just took out Doom Doom way down in the corner there. That's pretty nice. But nobody's morale went up. Nobody. So, I don't understand. But it's fun. I mean, it's fun to see what happens here. There's just a lot of unpredictable. So, I'm gonna get rid of Sunji on now. You must return to the main camp immediately. I defeated an officer. Especially since Su Jun got defeated and nobody got happy about that. That's kind of a bummer, so. But yeah, we're we're gonna figure it out. I don't really know anymore. 
Bojang just left the bottom part of the map, which is part of the reason why I sped up my process here, because I don't want to lose that peasant. And since Zhang Long Chang's more, uh, general left and also didn't increase his morale any, I was like, well, let's help him out. So it's... And it's fine. I guess we'll, we'll see how this rolls. It'll be interesting. EI's morale going up is really good because one of Guan Yu, either Guan Yu or Zhang Fei is up near this guy. So that's actually probably pretty good. I weakened Cow Cow down to 3 2 because I got nervous about uh, the generals all near that peasant in the bottom left part of the map. So that was part of the reason why I did that. But then they all left and went back up towards Zhang, Zhang Liang. So I'm like, all right, well, I don't feel as bad about that. And now he eyes general just defeated his guy. So now there's only one Liu Bei officer. So it's it's going okay. It's a little bit unorthodox as I've come to realize with this game is you kind of never know what you're going to get with stuff like this. So it's been cool. So I'll comment again soon. We must be triumphant! Show them our strength! Another army! We must be triumphant!
Well held. Now I shall bring an end to this. We will show the world the strength of our army. Don't fall behind! Push on! Well, this has been a very weird battle, for sure. Um, basically, what ended up happening in summary here, because I'll probably end this one soon. So, normally, when I do this level, I've done this level a bunch just on my own, just to try it out. What I've noticed is, generally, Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang win immediately. If they have, if they are do, they usually just win super fast, and they just destroy everybody, and it goes really well. And usually, Zhang Meng Chang does not do as well as he did in this game. Usually, Zhang Meng Chang waits till the peasant dies. That's right next to him. He won't ref protect the peasant. He won't move. He won't fight anybody. He'll just stand off to the side until everyone loses. And this time, it was kind of the opposite. So Zhang Bao, the one who's up top, he totally was losing. Like he was gonna lose that fight, or if he was gonna win, it was gonna take forever. It was taking him a, such a long time because he had weakened. Uh, Hong Dong and Cheng Pu, but then ran away and stopped fighting them and got so far away from them that he was probably never going to fight them. And even though they both had one uh, bodyguard, I highly doubt that they were ever going to actually do anything to help him. Um, that was weird. And then the same exact thing was happening with Zhang Liang, where even though he had six stars for morale, he literally lets he let a ge like a general or two of cow cows get past him and then just sat there and didn't even try to rescue his people. So like, there was a chance that he was going to lose too because basically if any peasant gets defeated on this map, almost everybody's morale goes up, even if they had nothing to do with the fight. So like, you basically can't lose a peasant on this map or else your side is so screwed. So like, I don't know what was going to happen there, but I just don't think my side was going to win very well. Or if they were going to win, it was going to be such a heavy loss that... I mean, the only person who guaranteed, who was like doing great was Zhang Meng Chang. That's the only person. Everybody else was doing bad. So, the shout out to, to this one would go to Zhang Meng Chang because of the fact that he actually like did something unlike Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang, who literally both Zhang Bao runs away and Zhang Liang just stands there. So like, pretty hilarious stuff, but 
that's what's great about the AI in this game is you really never know what's gonna happen. Like, I've done this a bunch of times on my own, and I've gotten a different result pretty much every time. Usually, it's that Zheng Bao and Zheng Liang do well, and Zheng Wang Cheng does bad. So that's the norm. But every once in a while, you get one like this. But it's not common that I've seen it this way. I've never seen Zeng Meng Cheng weaken a general and then have that general run over to the bottom left side of the castle only to get defeated by a random troop of units under Zeng, Zheng Liang or whoever that was that actually got rid of him. So, like, that was weird. But we'll take it. So, I'll wait till Cao Cao's generals get defeated. Hei Jin takes a really long time to die, but eventually Hei Jin will get killed. It just... I don't know why, he's like super tanky. But once Cao Cao's officers die, I will uh, just attack him. Or after like five minutes, I'm just gonna attack him anyway. So, thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, you're a champ. And enjoy.
Don't fall behind! We will destroy them! We must be triumphant!